So, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, this lipstick tag. Bleh, lipstick tag. And um, I actually saw this going around on blogs and I actually blogged about it. But I thought I'd do a YouTube video on it too because I think it's interesting, right? Um, I'm a really big fan of lipstick so when I saw this I was like, I have to get down to it. So, the next day I started my blog straight away and then I've been meaning to film a video and it took a bit longer for me. So, yeah. Um, Excuse me. Anyways, um, I'll start off with the very first questions. I have the questions here in my iPad. How many lipsticks do you own? Okay, so before I started um, the tag, I actually thought, you know, maybe I have like 50 lipsticks, which is pretty okay. Um, although it's probably not okay for you guys, um, you know, who maybe don't use lipsticks regularly because you only have one pair of lips. How many lipsticks do you need? And there's only so many colors, you know, in the range. Like, what do you call it? In the... Uh, spectrums of colors. So I actually counted and I have 72 lipsticks, which is uh, pretty bad, but I'm a hoarder. So, and that's really bad because that's not even counting the ones that my mom borrows and my sister borrows, and you know, they always take it and they don't return it, so they always keep it in the handbag or whatever or in the room. So I actually found another lipstick yesterday um, that my sister returned, which I really liked. Um, and I was wondering where that one went. So, um, yeah, now I have 72 lipsticks and yeah. Anyways, next question is, what was your first ever lipstick? So when I started off with makeup, I really liked nude lips because I was a big fan of Bub's Beauty and um, Xtina back in the day. So I, I went to Priceline and I bought a nude lipstick and the lady recommended to me um, Australis lipstick and that's when I um, was introduced to Australis and I really liked the range. So um, my very first shade was Mambo and I used to rave about it a lot. And to this day, I do kind of like it, but I'm kind of off, like, you know, not really into nude lipsticks anymore. So, I, um, yeah, but this is what it looks like. So, I have a teeny tiny bit left, but I still haven't finished it. I, I don't think to this day I've ever finished one lipstick. So, yeah, it's horrible, but I should really get down to this soon. So, Mambo, and um, on me, it's a really nice, kind of like a nudie pink. And, um, yeah, I haven't worn it in ages. Oh my god. So... Yeah, anyways, the next question is, what is your favorite brand for lipsticks? So, I really like, um, Face of Australia and Australis. Um, I know that I would really be keen on, like, I'd be a big fan of the Maybelline too, but I, personally, I don't really have a lot of Maybelline lipsticks, and I don't like the Revlon lip butters a lot, like, not that much. So, um, I would have to go with Face of, yeah, I mean, Face of Australia or Australis, but I'd probably go with, um, Australis because I feel like their lipsticks um, in comparisons with the lip quenches they have like two ranges so you know now that they came out with like the mattes um, and you know the normal color inject mineral range um, I don't know I feel like Australis is just better in terms of the ranges and the shade selections that they have so I really do like that um, the face of the Australian one is really really pigmented um, but I feel like they don't have enough shades and I feel like um, I only like, you know, a few of the selected shades from their range. So the formula is okay, I guess. Um, it can be a bit slippery on the lips sometimes. So yeah, so um, Australis is the way to go. Anyways, um, what is your most worn lipstick? Now in terms of being like worn as in like used, like used down, um, I, <laughs> you know, it's... Australis Mambo, but in terms of um, the ones that are, you know, my favorites, I actually go through a phase of lipstick. So sometimes, um, like, I'd be with like this lipstick for like a couple of months or so or weeks, and then I'd hop onto another lipstick, and then I have like a like I don't know just a phase. So I don't have like a like an ultimate favorite, but um, yeah, I'd go through that in another video. So after this, I'll film like my phase of lipsticks soon. Yeah, phases, phases, my top favorite lipstick so um, I'll go through that soon or just like you know my lipstick life if that makes sense but yeah um, what is your favorite finish my favorite finish is definitely creams um I find mattes okay I'm wearing a matte today and it's the Australis um it is called ghetto and um yeah it looks like this I'll just show you guys quickly but um yeah I don't really like mattes because I feel like it's drying and you know I don't like how my lips feel at the end of the day because then it will get really flaky and really just dry and you know, I don't like the feel of that so I rather touch up every often so my favorites are creams and um, you know the one with satin finish and stuff so I really like those um, what was the last lip products that you bought now the last lip products that I bought were let me just get it for you 
Um, where did it go? Okay, the last lip products that I bought were these two lipsticks, and I got these from the markets, which I haven't um vlogged about yet. But um, I got these from the markets for like I think it was like two for fifteen, but um like two products for fifteen dollars, and I got these two and a foundation for twenty dollars altogether because that's all I had twenty dollars at the market. So I got these two Revlon lipsticks, and they are from the Super Lustrous. Uh, range and this one is called pink velvet and um, love that pink and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like but this is pink velvet and I love my pink so yeah they are my go-to so it looks like I know I just feel like it looks really nice and um, I went around the whole market there was nothing to buy so I thought I'd pick up this so yeah there's some dust on this oh my god um, but yeah this is um, love that pink so it's a bit brighter and what did I just say? Bright. I don't know what it did with my lips, but anyways, um, yeah, those were the last two lipsticks that I bought. And moving on to the next question, how many lip products do you currently have in your handbag? I actually don't um, have a handbag most of the time. Like I only use handbags when I go, like, you know, out, out, and I don't go out often. Um, most of the time, I just drop down to the local stores and I just bring like my wallet. So I don't really have anything to, with me to touch up but um usually like you know whenever I do have a handbag I have like two three lip products like I have a lip balm and then two lipsticks so that's all I don't have like you know a billion lip products in my handbag yeah moving on how do you store your lipstick so my lipstick collection is a bit messy at the moment I mean everything around is a bit messy so I'll show you guys um now so come with me um okay so I'll just close this because my table and stuff is really messy so this is basically how I store my lipsticks and um, yeah I have like I, you know they just they just laid out like that so I have all my lipsticks here um, by Australis and Face of Australia and then I have like Rebel Lip Butters and some Australis lipsticks here and um, yeah okay so um, that's how I store my lipsticks and um, yeah nothing special but <sighs> a lot of lipsticks um anyways moving on to the next question which is what lipstick do you use to rock a red lip so um okay whenever I'm in for a red lip I actually use um, face of Australia um, mechanical lip liner in red which is a very creative name as you could tell um, but yeah this is basically what it looks like and it's more like warm toned so um, yeah so I'll just watch it for you guys and um, for the lipsticks I use either sports skills um proud about it lipstick in fashionista i think which is like renamed to bombshell now which is just like a darker red lip and um yeah all i use max factors um ruby tuesday which is like a brighter and it's warm toned too so i'll just show you guys the swatches for those but um i also have other red lipsticks so i just haven't got to trial them so that's why i don't want to include it in or else i'd be including you know australis um what do you call it from the matte range this is what it looks like the new one and I haven't trialed this yet so that's why I don't want to include it but I thought I include a swatch just to share with you guys oh my god I should really trial these soon and review them um yeah but I am trialing you know the one today so this is um the Australis one and this one is called Diva this one is the lip liner um, by Face of Australia called Red. This one is Sports Skills Fashionista and or Bombshell, and this one is Max Factors. Chew, I mean Ruby Tuesday. So those are my red lips and um, my you know to go to red lip. So um, does that make sense? My to go. Wait, no. So those are my go-to red lip products. So yeah, um, uh, I don't wear glosses, so you know, I, I don't know, I just feel like they really make everything rub off really quickly. So I don't, but um, the next question, which is the very last question, I think. Okay, the last question is, what lip products are you currently lusting after? I'm actually not, like, you know, lusting after any lip products at the moment. Like, um, I feel like I have enough and I just buy them if they're cheap. If they're not, then, you know, hey, it doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, but I actually don't mind me some more Rimmel lipsticks or maybe the Maybelline Color Sensationals, maybe the Vivids or something like that. Some pretty pinks will always make my day. So, 
yeah um so yeah that's all for my lipstick tag and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys are keen on doing this video then let me know just leave me um a video response and i'll gladly accept it um and yeah tell me how many lipsticks you guys have in your collection because i'm really 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 keen I keep saying clean, really keen to know and um, let me know what your favourite lipstick is, like that one shade that you would bring with you to like a deserted island if you want to wear lipstick on a deserted island. Deserted? Holy shit, my grandma has been really bad, I think because I've been playing some games with like these Singaporean people, like blokes and they, they have like, I don't know, the way they talk is so, I don't know, so... Oh my god, my grandma is so bad! But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. I'll film, like, a lip my lipstick life now. So, the lipsticks that I've gone through a phase with and I hope you guys will look forward to that too. So, I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? So, yeah, take care and have a really, really, really lovely weekend um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. So, bye!